Okay, everybody, welcome to the verse. I know it can be an intimidating experience to spawn into, but luckily the Star Citizen community, for the most part, can be pretty helpful and welcoming. Just a heads up, Star Citizen is an alpha. Bugs will happen, you will crash, the game will kill you. Don't worry about it, expect it. Something else to keep in mind is that in Star Citizen, everything you're going to want to do takes a significant amount of time. It's not like any other game where you can just fast travel or simply click and play. Everything takes a little longer in this game than you expect when you're first starting out. So enjoy the journey. There is no end game. There is only the present game. So the first thing it's going to want you to do is create your character and set your spawn point. I would suggest spawning into New Babbage for this specific free fly event, as that is the city where the expo is being held. This way you don't have to worry about any space travel in order to see the show. You can change your spawn location later within the verse if you like to any planet in most space stations. So if you find yourself enjoying the gameplay in a certain area, all you have to do is go to the closest medical facility and set your spawn point there, which I will show later. So if you've already spawned somewhere that is not New Babbage, don't worry, we'll now talk about how to fly your ship out of any city or station, as those of you who spawned at New Bab will need to know eventually anyway. So here's how to get to your ship. You've either pledged one in the store or have been given a loaner to free fly. What you need to do first is use your inner thought system. Holding F activates your ability to interact with the world around you. So you've spawned into your room, go to the door, hold F and click on the door panel that says open. Walk outside your room and depending where you spawn, there will be an elevator nearby, either to the left or right, down the hallway. Hold F to interact and call the elevator, get in and select the lobby. Note that holding F and using the scroll wheel on your mouse will zoom your view in and out, but will also scroll up and down an elevator interact panel. Once you've reached the lobby, you'll need to get to the ASOP terminal. That is where you retrieve, claim, and store your ships. ASOP terminals are found at the spaceport if you are on a planet, which you will be if this is the first time you've spawned into the game. Some city layouts can be really confusing in this game, which is why I've made a separate video showing you exactly how to get from the living quarters to the spaceport on every single city. Those of you who've spawned in at New Babbage do not need to go to this separate video. This is only for those people who have spawned in somewhere else. Go to the link in the description, right click and select open in new tab. Then come back to this video when you found the ASOP terminal. All right, you step out of the elevator. This is the fancy, I guess it would be like a motel that you have spawned into. And you just go straight out into the metro loop right down here. I mean, you can explore if you want to, but it's really easy to get lost. So be careful. Go all the way down, follow the stairs. And right here, what we want to do is go to the spaceport. We don't want to go to the commons yet. So go to the spaceport side. Oh look, it's already here. Sometimes you'll have to wait for the tram. Other times it will just be here, but just be patient. There's always a timer on the platform to tell you exactly when the train is coming. So we step in. It's going to take us to the spaceport. Looks like someone left their clothes here. That's okay. Littering is just fine in the Star Citizen universe. Is this a real guy? Okay, we have arrived at the spaceport. You walk out of the train. Look for the sign that says exit. It's over here. Go through the exit. Come out of the elevators. Call it. Wait for the elevator to come down. Sometimes it takes a minute. Real time, everybody. It's real time. Click the NBIS terminal. That stands for New Babbage International Spaceport. Okay, we walk out of the elevator. As you can see, the only way we can go is to the left. We go through customs. Hydro drugs again. Follow the corridors. Up the stairs. Enjoy the view. Wow. And then back this way. And right in here is the hangars. And here is the ASOP terminals. So before you get into your ship for the first time, let me run you through the basic need to know fundamentals of getting by in Star Citizen. The first thing you need to know is that this game has too many keybinds to remember. So just hit escape, go to options and go to the keybinds page. This is your best friend. It looks crazy right now, but if you forget what to press, just pull it up and search it until you find what you need. As you get used to the game, this stuff will start to come easy. It's normal to feel overwhelmed at this point in your career. This game is not for the faint of heart, but with its challenge comes reward. Okay, go back to the game and hit F1. This is your Moby Glass. 
It shows the status of your character, your financial situation, your standing with the authorities, and much more. The F1 screen, however, is far less useful than its older brother, F2. Hitting F2 brings up the star map. You can also navigate to different Moby Glass tabs via the tabs at the bottom of the Moby Glass screen. The star map is one of the more frustrating UIs in the game currently, but you can't live without it, so you gotta suck it up. Familiarize yourself with the star map, scroll in and out, double click stuff and see what happens. You'll notice that you can double click a planet to zoom, or click it to show cities and points of interest. If you have successfully selected a POI, it will show up with its name in the top right. If it has done that, you can select set route or clear route. This will provide your ship with the jump calculations it needs to engage quantum travel. Quantum travel is like hyperspace, it's super speed type travel that lets you get over long distances relatively quickly. Within the Moby Glass, there is also your vehicle loadout page where you can apply components and paint to your ship that you've purchased, contract manager where you can earn your living by delivering packages, fighting bad guys in bunkers, or my favorite, good old fashioned bounty hunting. There are many ways to make cash in the verse, some are safer than others, and some are more legal than others. You should know that getting sent to prison is a thing and that there is a real-time penalty for getting in trouble with the law. But only if they catch you. Everything in your general contracts tab should be legal for you to do. The personal tab is another story. There's more stuff on the Moby Glass, but for now let's move on to inventory. Exit the Moby Glass and press your I key. This is your inventory. There won't be much in it right now as you are a brand new citizen, but you need to know how it works. On the right side of the screen is your local inventory for the city, station, bunker, or outpost you are in, and on the left side is your personal inventory. As you can see, I don't have one because I'm not wearing armor or a backpack, but if I were, that's where it would be. That is what you can carry on your person. If you have a backpack, leg, arm, or chest armor, it will split itself into each of these categories and provide a certain amount of storage for each of them. Interacting with your inventory is simply clicking and dragging. Whatever you leave in the local inventory stays there until you take it out. So if you leave your helmet there and travel somewhere else, you will not have it. Now keep in mind, whatever is on your personal inventory will be gone forever if you die with it. Armor, guns, food, water, backpack, everything dies with you. So I recommend traveling with only exactly what you think you will need for a given expedition to minimize loss if you die. I, for example, take nothing but my default spacesuit when I do bounty missions. That way if I die to an NPC, a player, or if the game decides just to lag me into an asteroid, I lose nothing. But let's get back to your first flight. You should be at the ASOP terminals. Go and interact with the terminal by holding F and left clicking on the screen. The screen will pop up with your available ships. You should see your loaner or your pledge ship there. and There will be an option on the right to either retrieve or claim should say retrieve, but if it says claim, no worries, just claim it and wait the amount of time it takes to come to the spaceport. It will then say retrieve. So retrieve your ship, it will process and give you a hangar or pad number, exit the terminal and go to the hangar elevators that are nearby. Good time to note that physical signage is a big thing in this game, immersion and stuff. Call the elevator, interact with it the same as you did the living quarters, and select your hangar number. If hangar number does not appear on the elevator panel, scroll down. If you forget your elevator number, look around you. There should be an icon with your ship and hangar number in the UI somewhere. Once you get to the hangar, walk out and take a walk around your ship. Appreciate it. Revel in its beauty. This is a good time to make sure you have your spacesuit and helmet on. You can live without one on the ship and most planets, but if you land at a pad on the space station, you are screwed. Depending on the ship that's been loaned to you or that you have purchased, there will be either a door that opens on the side or the back, or an option to interact with the cockpit and enter the ship that way. Either way, you'll need to look at the ship and find what most looks like an entrance to you and interact with it using your inner thought system like everything else. Once you've successfully gotten to the pilot seat, it's time to take off. The first thing you need to do is look at your keybinds and make sure you know what does what. Generally, the space bar is strafe up, control is down. W is forward, S is back, and A and D is side to side. But the first thing you need to do is power the ship on. There are individual hotkeys for powering your engines and overall ship power separately. You can also hold F and look around at the buttons on the dash of the ship and find the one that says power on. But instead of going through all that, I like to just hit U. It turns on and off all the ship systems. Note that it will take a few seconds for your shields to start charging after power on so you are extra vulnerable during this power cycle. Next thing to do is operate the speed limiter. You'll see the speedometer in the middle left section of the cockpit HUD. The right side of the speedometer is a little box and that's your speed limiter. Scrolling up and down on the mouse wheel controls that limiter. I suggest scrolling it all the way to the bottom and then up one or one and a half scrolls so 
that you can barely move the ship. This way as you make mistakes your first time taking off, they are less likely to become fatal. But let's take off. Press space to lift off the ground just a meter or two. Test out your side to side, up and down strafe within the hangar, trying not to hit the sides. When you are ready to get out of the hangar, press N to lift your landing gear. You can press F4 to get in a third person look at your ship and see your landing gear going in if you want to. Press F4 to get back to first person mode. To leave or enter a hangar, you need to contact air traffic control. To do that, go into your Moby Glass and navigate to the social tab. Go to your friends list and select the station where you are on and hail them. After a few seconds, you should hear them say something and the hangar will start opening. After the hangar is open, you can fly out and voila. Fly around and practice. Take the speed limiter off if you want to. Fly around the planet and head straight up out of the atmosphere. Now is a good time to go into your key bindings and set a hotkey for requesting landing and takeoff. As you saw, it's tedious to do it the Moby Glass way. So go into your key bindings, select advanced, and go into the flight movement. At the bottom of that drop down, you'll see request landing. Set that as F3. Now when you want to land or fly out of a hangar or a pad, use F3. Simple as that. Now I'll show you how to use your quantum drive and from there the verse is open to you. Head straight up from the planet at max speed. You'll see the altimeter just opposite the speedometer and it should be going up steadily. Once you've gotten up past 10,000 meters or whatever the atmosphere is at, open up your star map, find Microtech. Double click it to zoom in. If it doesn't zoom in enough or it zooms in too much, just use your scroll wheel. Manipulate the planet using your right and left click and hold. And above the main city of New Babbage, there will be a station called Port Tressler. Select it and set a route. If the route is properly set, a distance and fuel consumption meter should appear in the top left. Now exit the Moby Glass and activate the quantum drive using B. Hover your crosshair over the quantum marker and hold B. Congrats! You now can quantum travel. It should spit you out in view of the station, so just fly up to it. Hot tip is to fly towards it with your trajectory just off of the station itself. That way if you come in too fast and can't stop in time, you'll fly past it instead of into it. When you get close, set your speed limiter low again, just like you did when you left the hangar on the planet. When you're close enough, a reading at the top of your screen should appear saying please request landing. Use F3 to request landing and go to the marker it sets for you. Extend the landing gear within and land in the hangar bay. My suggestion now would be to go into that station and set your spawn point to the station. That way you avoid having to take public transport and deal with the city next time you want to get in your ship. Alright, I'll walk you through how to get to the med bay at Port Tressler real quick here. You've landed in the hangar, you get out of your ship, walk over to the hangar elevators and get yourself up to the main lobby. Once you're there, you just walk straight through past the terminals, take a left, and it's right there in the medical clinic. Now all you have to do is request patient check-in at the terminal, and it'll give you an assigned room. Figure out where that room is, and then you can walk inside. Lay on the bed and select the option to manage regeneration. Select the station med clinic. If it has been done properly, your respawn location will now say current location. Now if you log off or die, it will respawn you at the station. So now that you can fly, it's time to start making money and gearing up. From this point, the options are kind of endless. The most peaceful and stress-free of the ways for a starter to earn some dough is probably to do some delivery missions. Although these can be somewhat buggy, but don't be afraid to get right out there doing bounty missions. They start you off pretty easy, though your likelihood of dying is fairly low. And even if you do die, you will just respawn at pretty much no consequences, as long as you don't take anything valuable with you, which you should have none because you are brand new. There are a lot of great videos on YouTube about how to start doing bounty missions and how to do all sorts of types of missions and ways to make money. Mining is a big one. Mining can net you a lot of dollars. But for now, I'll leave it at that. Enjoy the free fly, enjoy IAE, and hopefully you have a fun time in the verse. Feel free to join the Discord, link in the description, ask us any questions in the Star Citizen section. We'll be happy to help you out or get you to someone who can help you out. But another great way to get your questions answers is just to open the global chat. Someone in the server will probably be able to answer the question you have. But if you're new to PC gaming, don't Alt F4. Just beware because this is a sandbox game. There are bad people out there who will grief you even though it's your first time. So be on your toes and enjoy the verse. I'll see you later.